The next award is for Feed of the Year. Feed of the Year has been previously won by Lake Monet versus Jack Wallace in 2012. The Elite Alliance versus The Rebellion in 2013. Alex Stone versus Aston Crude in 2014. Baby! Baby! You look like a seven-year-old. And Ryan Tate versus Blade Trump 2015. I tell you what, you know, the last year of WCWA, it was really hard to get some good feuds going. Because we had so much to do in such little time that we had to get from one feud to the next very, very fucking quickly. But there were some that did definitely stand out, and I'm going to read those nominees and tell you their positioning. As a fucking raisin, whatever. Hey, <laughs> Carl, you look good tonight, man. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. I'd fuck you. Hey, <laughs> Carl, oh, 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 In sixth position oh, with man. nine votes. Michael Fyman. Still Kemsley versus Clyde. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, also oh, in sixth oh, position oh, with oh, nine oh, votes. Oh, Kyle Inglis versus Kilowatt oh, Chaos. Oh, 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 that was a few. Oh boy. Whoa. In fifth yes, position with fight. ten votes, Daniel Johnston versus the Originals. Oh, oh, that's, a, that's a full one. In fourth position with thirteen votes, the Warmbra feud. Oh, In tied for second position with nineteen votes. Aston Crew versus Mykonos and Jack Wallace versus Luke Monet yes. again. Yes. And in first position with 26 votes, my yeah, friends, Blade Shaw versus Antilochus. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, Yeah, so last year when we did the Yardi Awards, um, I knew obviously that I was going into a feud with Jacob and so it would span over a bunch of months and um, obviously plans change, but the one thing I said to him last year was that I wanted to win Feud of the Year and that even though he was elevating me to the main event position that I wanted us to do something that would be meaningful and uh, culminate in us having the Feud of the Year and we managed to do it so I couldn't be prouder to have worked such an awesome program with a guy who I admire so much and uh, has an insane amount of a talent in the ring so thank you Jacob. You! Yeah. Oh, Thank you, Blake. 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 That's always gonna be a fucking killer show when we're all fucking tiny. Like I'm a midget compared to Blade. You know, when I first got tall, I was just like, "You're gonna lose about to Blade." I'm like, "Oh fuck, that's gonna be that's gonna be so sick." Like, fuck, it was sick enough. Like, like no, no, I love it, man. And like, when 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 you had finally came, like going to Blade, I'm like, "Oh shit!" And like, Blade gave me one of his like, one of them one of them bear hugs. Like, this, you know, this is like this match is just gonna be good. <laughs> I know, we went into the match. Yeah. I gave, I gave Blade the championship. 
And it was, it was just a good feeling, you know? Like, it was, you know, I felt really happy that I was giving to Blade. It was just like, you fucking deserve it, dude. The whole feud was worth it. Fucking, it was, it was, those are my favorite feuds, man. And I'm, I'm glad we got feud of the year because it, it, it did mean a lot Kiss. to give up to someone who's been around a lot longer had a lot more experience. And for someone like that, it's still, it's still say you look up to me, man. That meant a whole, I hope a whole fucking lot to me. And um, I, I couldn't be prouder to give it away to all my closest friends. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah.